Another step has been taken towards Europe becoming an even more efficient competitor in the global satellite telecommunications market with the testing of the new small geosatellite platform at STEC, the European Space Agency's testing centre in the Netherlands. Small Geo will offer a service that is presently unavailable in the European space industry, an industry for which satellite telecommunications represents a huge sector. The development of satellites helps the European industry uh, both in the manufacturing uh, area because we have to manufacture these satellites and this requires skilled jobs and also it helps in the creation and maintaining a, a large uh, downstream industry. In fact, uh, satellites, satellite communications account for more than 60% of the overall space business. Small Geo is part of the next generation of modular and flexible telecommunications platforms. It's being developed by ESA in partnership with the Spanish satellite company Hispasat and is being manufactured by a European consortium headed by the German manufacturer OHB System. This small geo platform allows the industry to bring new technologies to the market and to have it validated in a real mission for 15 years in the uh, most uh, uh, shortest time frame. For ESA, it's the best mean to actually uh, bring the technology development to the real telecommunication market, allowing the industry to improve their competitiveness in the uh, shortest time frame. This public-private partnership between ESA and Hispasat allows newcomer OHB to position itself as a player in the small group of European satellite manufacturers, enabling them to fill the gap in the market for small geostationary satellites. This testing phase at ESTEC is key for the development of this new platform. During its time at ESTEC, the small geo platform will be exposed to the kind of severe vibrations and tremendous noise the satellite will face during takeoff. The satellite model will also be tested in STEC's large space simulator. The chamber can achieve a vacuum pressure a billion times lower than our sea level atmosphere, while liquid nitrogen circulated around the simulator approximates the cryogenic temperatures of space. The simulator, Europe's largest single vacuum chamber, is 10 meters in diameter, 15 meters high and has a lid that weighs 3 tons. The small geo platforms predicted to be launched in 2014 as part of the Spanish operator Hispasat's first fleet of advanced generation one satellites. This platform is built not only for one future mission where we fly for Hispasat, but also for future satellites which OHB is selling on the market. And therefore we test the full range here, we test the maximum mass test uh, all the environment you can see in space to make sure that the, this design of this platform can not only do the first flight of the satellite but also in future be uh, used for other missions, for other telecom operators or other customers. In Europe, as elsewhere, satellite telecommunications affect many areas of our lives, from browsing online to watching sports on TV. This small geo platform will help the European industry to be competitive among world manufacturers and therefore contribute to the continuing development of these services as well as providing social and economic benefits for Europe's citizens.